InshaAllah what we have from uh, SME, SMC folks online, InshaAllah everybody to share the links, share the videos, support the online store, support the articles, put out the videos as much as possible that uh, these are very, very difficult and dark times. The more that we propagate, the more that we support, the more that we're active is a protection for ourselves. This uh, gains a nazar of Prophet and this is our life. Those of whom don't have protections, don't have ta'weez for their home, for their car, for their being, then go to the SMC site, make sure that you have your ta'weezes and, and uh, the world changes day by day. So anybody who's been following us sees it's right on course that uh, the events that uh, are supposed to happen, they're happening and they're happening at a very fast speed. And those whom keep towards their teaching and illuminations then they shouldn't be too surprised and shocked and they should have a sense of security and protection. The ta'weezes and all of these are symbols of belief to Allah that, Ya Rabbi I'm humble and I'm following your guidance and that your nazar be upon me, the nazar of Prophet be upon me and the awliya Allah that are in charge of these to be upon me because these are symbols of belief in them. If you don't have belief in them then Bismillah, good luck. And if you have belief take your step, if you don't step there's no 99 steps towards you. Everything in our life is about you take the step first. So don't challenge Allah well let me just see if everything gets bad or if something happens then I'll do it. No, our life is about proactive and not reactive defense. Proactively defend yourself, your home, your property, your being, you have all of your spiritual protections, you do your awrads, your zikrs, you do your khidmat and service, you support, that is a, a lifeline that keeps the ship's fuel going. Everybody wants to be a part of the ship but they have to also support the ship because it just stops without that lifeline and support coming through. So it's a system like fusion, self-contained, not from outside but from within the group and the community. So we pray that Allah inspire everybody's hearts and uh, the signal gets out, the understanding gets out and the knowledge… As Salaamu Alaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh. This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Just get out inshaAllah and they take away a sense of fear and, and distress that people are having as a result of what's happening in the world very fast. InshaAllah what do we have online, InshaAllah? As Salaamu Alaikum Sayyidi Walaykum As Salaam wa Rahmatullah Sayyidi a question came to mind when thinking about calculating our moves before acting. Please forgive my adab, does calculating of our moves in life go through the head or the heart? What to do when we are overthinking our moves, fearing mistakes? Yeah, that has to do with your meditation, get your meditation book. So the way is based on the heart, there's nothing to do with the head. So it means uh, the ones who meditate they understood you have to burn the head, otherwise your waswas is in the head, shaitan is in your head. If you're not doing the muraqabah, the zikr of the muraqabah, continuously trying to connect that energy has to come and begin to build an energy so shaitan can't hijack your head. 
Otherwise with no energy of course your tongue's just sitting on your ear, you're not going to make a single decision correct and you're going to go to the bathroom and get all your inspirations because he gives you khutbah in the wash facility. So it doesn't work that way, that's why you get the meditation book, this is a curriculum, you study the curriculum, study the understanding, study the energy book on how to build the energy, it's all based on the muraqabah. You have to be connected, you have to be hooked up and if it's a result of being hooked up with them there's an energy and a fire that has to start downloading into you. We said before the talks are, are like a bullet point but you didn't get the whole talk. It's coming in an encrypted file that requires you to connect. Next couple of days you have to connect, you have to connect so that the file completion can download. This was enough of a, what do they call when Mati puts those clickbait. The talks are an interesting subject for people like clickbait, ooh that was interesting now you're supposed to take your notes, sit down and meditate. That's why we asked, well, how was it, what was it, what was going on, people don't seem to have any questions after that, that's okay maybe they got a download, they got the information they needed. But the process is you didn't get the information, you basically got the clickbait to entice you to get more information because things that can't be said openly have to be through the heart and not everything is just going to flow on open channels and uh, for everybody just to absorb freely. They have to connect, they have to go through the process of the connection, connecting their heart. So that this information, these knowledges and realities they dress the heart. So this is an important process, this is a, not like regular talks and not like regular associations that you see all over the internet. These are from the tariqah way, the real tariqah way that requires the connection because the ijazah is in teaching the connection. If others don't want to teach the connection Maybe they don't have the ijazah for that and maybe they don't have anything that they want to download to anyone. So whatever we've been given is the way that we're supposed to dispense it, inshaAllah. As Salaamu Alaikum Sayyidi Walaykum As Salaam wa rahmatullah Sayyidi, we are battling very bad waswas always trying to divert us from left to right. We fight it our best with astaghfirullah and meditation but it's very difficult. Can you give us any more advice how to fight waswas? Yeah, the khidmat, donation, services, you do the whole package, don't leave anything out. Sadaqah, zakat, all of that is what is zaki, is to purify. We said that the devil inside is calling your devil outside. So how does the system work? You think the devil on the outside is just coming around or this called juzbah, magnetism. When you understand magnetism means the dirtiness inside like mercury, toxic and poisonous, it has a magnetism to the dirtiness outside. So the dirty inside is calling the dirty outside. You're not just clean inside and think that, I don't know why all these shaitans are attacking me, it's dirty inside. So as a result of the dirty inside is calling all the dirty outside and then they become shariq and partners and attack because that's a great fighting force, fighting inside and then outside and they just move their way together to connect. That's why the zakat, that's why the generosity, donations, the khidmat, the service, why? It was to clean the inside. The meditation and muraqabah they have to have a strong connection asking for the fires to come, energies to come. They make their salawat, they do the breathing practices in their tafakkur and they feel like a burn inside because they have to burn a lot, a lot of shaitans inside. Then they have to keep that connection keep that, that reality and, and keep the, the connection to the shaykh we describe by keeping under the nazar of the shaykh. 
They go out, they give the food, they do their khidmat, that's very nice but now keep the nazar of the shaykh, make the comments, make sure the shaykh knows who you are. Not just the, the email, I, I'm, I love you, you're the greatest shaykh, you're the best, no this doesn't mean anything to them. What it means to them is that you're serviced, oh they see your name on the food thing, they see your name putting out articles. The life we live of service shows our relationship. So look to the shaykh. So I wonder if Shaykh No John loves Prophet Because everyone sees shaykhs on the internet. They say, oh we love Prophet we love, we love, we love, we love. But then look at their actions, it doesn't seem like too many of them talk about that love. They don't look like they're really showing that love. So words are cheap and Allah says, the first thing is, is when you come to the heavens I'm going to seal your lips. Why? Because everybody can say what they want from their mouth but look to the actions. Do you do everything in the name of Prophet Do you try to, to live a life that you glorify that name? Praise that name, make everyone know how beautific the name and the life and the reality of Prophet is. Do you feed the poor and the orphan with the name of Prophet You know the maulid that took place in India and Pakistan over 600 children got VIP service with buses and beautiful clothing and beautiful hall, better than the hall we had in Vancouver was in Pakistan, the lights and the mirrors and all of that beautific, why? So that they would feel that they're, they are precious and special to Sayyidina Muhammad to a person who maybe doesn't even have anyone recognizing him. And every day nobody coming to adopt him but once a year Prophet hosts him. So it means live a life where you prove your love, don't just send emails saying, I love this, I love that, this is, this is worthless. But prove you love the shaykh by your khidmat and your service. You can see all articles being shared, you can see our, our people whom their khidmat is, is strong, posting, posting, taking 30 wells, posting them, post this, post that, build this, do this. Broadcast this, open this, they're doing and living a life that every minute of their life shows their love. This is our life because look at your shaykh, your shaykh every minute of his life is to show his love for Prophet Then he sits and just says, I love Sayyidina Muhammad and do something else every day and do something else and say something else but try to live the life showing what you believe acting on what you believe and as a result you become sincere. That becomes a strong connection and they're all over the world these people whom they're very sincere and their sincerity you know it, we know it, we see it, we recognized it and this is our life, this is exactly the life that we were trained to live with our, our shaykh and with the reality of Prophet the reality of Ahlul Bayt, the reality of the Holy Companions and our life was to convey that to the students. You see that our students are, are feeding in the name of our shaykhs and the companions and Ahlul Bayt, daily basis around the world if a horse and, and a birth comes up they're feeding in the name because they want to show the love. So these are imp important realities when we live our life with that and then we make our muraqabah, then we make our meditations and our connections, they should be very powerful. How can shaitan get in between that? If shaitan is getting in there's a deficiency on your inside program and your outside program. Wherever there's a weakness is where shaitan is going to come. So he finds the weakest link and enters through there. Some people maybe outside they're strong, they don't do any inside practice, shaitan comes in. And the inner shaitan starts to call all the devils on the outside. So it means the program has to be strong on both sides, inside, outside. 
And if it's done right they have a very strong connection but that strong connection then brings the nazar of these awliya, the nazar of Prophet and the, the, there's nothing else that the servant needs other than the nazar of Prophet upon them is sufficient. There's no devil that can deal with that reality. <clears throat> As Salaamu Alaykum Sayyidi Walaykum As Salaam wa Ta'ala Can you please explain what happens to our energy and connection when we miss our daily awrad and is there a way to make up an incomplete awrad from the day before? You make an intention to, to make up for it, wake up that you missed it that day, wake up as soon as you can in the morning and do the awrada and ask Allah for forgiveness that to keep my connection strong and to you know everything by intention. And when we don't make the awrad it causes a break within the energy line. And that becomes something difficult in our life because we're in continuous need of fires and protection. So I don't know how to explain it except like a, a movie in which you have a, a field of energy all around you. When you leave the awrad what happens is the field for that day will drop. If the field of energy drops and the protection drops for the servant that's the day they can become attacked and under difficulty. Once those difficult energies come it takes a, a lot of energy to again push everything out and bring back your shield of protection. So imagine your home was the only home surrounded by 10,000 horrible crooks and thieves everywhere. But by a miraculous nature your home and your structure is like a fortified shield and every now and then the crooks can see your shield dropped, all the gates went down, <laughs> the doors all the bars came down, everything comes down. Do you think that they would just stand and watch or that would be the day that they attack? And once they attack and your bars come back up they're still now inside, how do you get them out? So this is just an analogy to understand that when we build the spiritual shield and build our spiritual practices there's a shield of energy that goes up and that energy then becomes a, a life force of our protection. Because the more we're doing the good deeds that we're doing then also a lot more negativity is trying to attack, to stop you. So this is the, the battlefield of realities. So you try our best to keep the practices, keep the strength, keep the wudu, keep the awrads, keep everything that's being done so that to be protected and uh, free from sicknesses and, and hardships and harm inshaAllah. As Salaamu Sayyidi Walaykum As Salaam wa uh, Please forgive me for my ignorance, uh, just want to clarify as it's mentioned uh, in the Timeless Reality book that you can do zikr on tasbih, salawats whilst watching TV and while we with family. Can we do zikr salawats on tasbih while watching movies? Yeah, yeah if, the, if the movie is not something bad that uh, doesn't match what you're doing, if they're fantasy movies and you're sitting with the children and sitting with family, the uh, understanding is that we have so many awrads to do. Not all of them can be just sitting in a room isolated doing your awrads would may take a long time. So to do even excessive awrad but in the presence of your family and watching TV and entertaining your home is a part of faith. Everything has to match but if the programming is not correct and you don't want to bring the presence of Prophet into that environment then no that's, that would be common sense. But if the movie and the programming is, is not a problem, the children are all sitting then you just keep making your salawats while entertaining your family. This is to bring excessive amount of energy onto your soul. And the times that you, you want to be very precise and correct then is the time that you would be in your sunnah and meditating with the atr and uh, being in the presence of Prophet with all respect. 
and that's the time that you would meditate and connect your heart. So these are different types of the meditation and tafakkur inshaAllah. As Salaamu Alaykum Sayyidi Walaykum As Salaam wa Please forgive me Sayyidi. Uh, what's the reality of today, Friday the 13th during the month of Rabbiul Awwal? Friday is blessed and 13th is blessed. 13th is the reality of the meem in the abjad. So these are the, a, a very blessed day and a, a blessed power. And we've described the, the 13 before that the, the reason they feel it to be something unpleasing to them is because of the Muhammadan kingdom. Because uh, shaitan is scared of the Muhammadan kingdom and all that whom he governs has a, a fear. So this is a, a fear that he instills within them because they, they feel a discomfort with the arrival of Prophet But for those whom have a, a love for Muhammadun Rasulullah that thirteen has to do with the reality of the meme and every secret is within the reality of the meme. So alhamdulillah go to the Abjad articles and you study the reality of the meme and uh, that everything is in the reality of Muhammadun Rasulullah It's thirteen with a value of forty because one and three is four and it's on the second level so it's with a nuqt becomes four, with a nuqt becomes forty. So it has a value of forty, that's why the Muhammadan they reach the maturity at the age of forty. So there's many, many realities in that number and the reality of forty, so alhamdulillah. As Salaamu Alaikum beloved Sayyidi Walaykum As Salaam wa In one of your sohbats you mentioned that keeping a certain amount of turtles at home can ward off black magic. Can I please know the exact amount of turtles, type and adab of keeping turtles at home with the same purpose? Please forgive my ignorance. Yeah, I don't know if I said to keep number of turtles but that we were talking I think about creatures and that Allah created a, every creature with a reality. And uh, the little turtles, I don't know their number, what number they're supposed to be but they absorb black magic and bigger turtles also absorb black magic. But they're not easy to keep, their, their conditions are a bit difficult, not all countries even allow the, the, the keeping of turtles in the aquarium. So. That was just I think for informational purposes, I don't know if people can sort of keep turtles and, and uh, they, they're def difficult to keep, so that, that becomes hard, inshaAllah. As Salaamu Alaikum Sayyidi Walaykum As Salaam wa rahmatullah Sayyidi, could my non-Muslim friends love Sayyidina Muhammad through me as they witness my Muhammadan traits? In doing so will they be with whom they love? Sure, well, why, why couldn't they? You, you, anyone has the ability to convey love and if it conveyed correctly then people whom their hearts are ready for that understanding then most definitely they would understand and come to that guidance. That's the reality of everyone's responsibility to do dawah. But the problem is that people's da'wah is not necessarily their own character being good. So then it does more harm than good. So the process of the tariqahs is that first we have to fix ourselves, build ourselves, be good representation of that reality. Then as we go out because we focused on building ourselves, as we go out people by example just interact with us and they can understand the teachings and the reality. But if we didn't perfect the inner and just want to go out to talk to people uh, and do dawah and they get in arguments and then cause more harm. And uh, the focus should be mainly about fixing myself before fixing others so that I can truly try to 
resolve my inner difficulties because the inner battle is so great you don't really have time to deal with outside people if done right inshaAllah. As Salaamu Alaikum Sayyidi Walaykum As Salaam wa rahmatullah Understanding uh, are these illuminated lamps the stars that we see in the sky? What's the reality of Allah decorating the lowest heavens with lamps being the stars? Yeah. Well, that's the, the reality of what Prophet gave to us that my companions are like stars on a dark night. So Sirajan Muniran that to, to, to illuminate and to be like a lamp giving light. Our life is to be a lamp giving light and this earth we have guidance from these lights. So before there was GPS and all of these technologies we would go through the darkness and traverse the earth through looking at the stars and the lights. You could tell where you were by understanding under what star and which direction are you moving. So clearly the understanding of lights was for guidance. So it was not an analogy that you literally had to follow the lights to get guided. So then what would be the difference of being guided on earth if you don't follow the light? If to follow the zulm and darkness and oppression you need light. So follow the light not the darkness and oppression. So what's the difference then for the physical earth? Why to follow that which is not illuminated? So our life is to become a lamp giving light. So how, how to make our heart into a lamp that has light? That's with the good character. With good character then they teach you who to love that will bring light into your heart which is Prophet So how am I going to reach Prophet is to be with whom he loves and these are Ulul Am, the people of Am, the men of guidance whom they exhibit and teach that reality of love. They operate from love, there are some people whom they don't ever talk about love. So. That's something different, it's very hard to accompany them because it's not very loving. But this way in this day and age requires the understanding of love and muhabbat. To have a love for Prophet to have a, a love and a sense of immense hope through very difficult and dark times. By accompanying them and connecting their hearts begin to illuminate us with that Muhammadan love, that Muhammadan ishq. And so that it builds the love of Prophet within our hearts. And that becomes the fire that Nabi Musa That's why I say when we give those talks you have to ask the questions at that time. So they come back you know weeks later, why did Nabi Musa describe, I'm going to go to the fire to get a khabar and to bring a flame back? Well because you, you're going to go to get knowledges but you don't come back empty handed because anyone whom enters the flame, around the flame what happens? Is going to bring back the flame. So if I bring back that light by accompanying the shaykhs, by sitting in their halaqahs, their zikrs even through the internet because they don't need time and space. You merely watch the broadcast, the shaykh is present with you. You are present now in that circle of that fire and Allah describes if you're around it or within it you are blessed. So just turn on the video that halaqa begins because the shaykh is not, is not bound by any space and time, it wasn't then. Only now we said in the, in the talks on, on sound and vibration that you say, Allah it never stopped, right? Because it's a vibration. So standing here I say, Allah, the vibration of Allah now went. And energy doesn't get destroyed. So now this energy that I 
created by saying this frequency is moving in time and space for all of eternity. So means the association is the heavenly association, heavenly frequencies, they never die. And every moment of the khamd and the zikrs are a page and a haqqaiq. As soon as you watch the video as if you open the page, the exact haqqaiq of that reality begins to dress you. And the frequency of the association dresses you and all of the realities of the association dress you. Beyond space and time, side to that, scientists understood that, so they said that if these sounds and talks and conversations and every experience upon this earth, when Sayyidina Adam was talking to his people, Sayyidina Sulaiman was talking to his people, can't you retrieve that dialogue? Must be a way. One, if they're people of reality, every event is a page that never died. People of garbage, they come, they go, their page burns. But the people of haqqaiqs and the people who represent the Divine energy, every moment he sat is a page in reality. That page can be retrieved, that energy can be retrieved. Every conversation and every word and every dialogue is a frequency moving through our existence. Now can you create something to capture that sound? And they say they have. They say they have a device that can pick up frequencies and conversations. How do they tune it to pick up what conversation, from what year, from what dialogue? But the study of energy tells you definitely it's not destroyed. So that when we say Allah it's infinitely moving and infinitely being rewarded upon the servant. And the same when you say something bad that's infinitely moving and infinitely dressing the servant. So speak good, do your zikr, praise Allah make your durood the sharif this will be all of eternity in energy and in energy realities. So then that was the reality that Nabi Musa is that when you enter into this Divinely fire you take it home and you lit and you light yourself, your home and all your surroundings with good character. We try to kindle that flame and make it into a big flame, big torch within our existence. But many just take it, come back to a lot of bad and then they lose that flame. Then again they'll reconnect, make their connections, make all of the, the progress they're trying to build. But then life is about how to keep that reality, how to keep that connection, how to make that into an immense flame within our hearts, within our homes and within our communities that don't go out. Because the bigger the flame, the stronger the flame, it takes a lot more wind to make it go out until it becomes what they call an eternal flame. Once it reaches its eternal reality, shaitan can't blow it out. And that's why Allah says, leave them, these are my mukhlas, you have nothing to do with them. You're not going to take out their flame, inshaAllah. Subhana rabbika rabbal izzat amma yasifoon wa salaam ala al-mursaleen walhamdulillahi rabbil alameen bi hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa bi siri Surat al-Fatiha. As Salaamu Alaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. As Salaamu Alaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh.